Hey guys, what's going on? It is Franchise Guy. We are back with another episode of the Cardinal Sim. Alright, we are going through this season. We're trying to power through it because this season goes bad. All the injuries. Let's see if we can get this Rams victory. All the injuries here, especially the quarterback going down. But I mean, Eli has done a pretty good job. we got two guys regressing. Cordero Patterson and Eli Manning. That is awful. That is awful, because they were hooking up a lot, and I don't know why they would be going down. That's not good. That's bad. We don't need regression. Uh, we don't need their help to stink. Uh, all these guys are first-round grades. These guys are all good players. Okay. All centers are good, just so you know. Okay, you're not good. You could be. You're okay. You could be. You're all right. Wow, that's one of the better guys I've seen. Okay, we'll save that. That'll be saved there. And uh, let's check out another two-point loss. Two two-point losses in a row. This one causes regression. Two turnovers for both teams. Eli was just sacked too many times, which is why he went down. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. I mean, come on. I can't ask for more from the guy. For an old man, 14 years pro, who lost his starting job on a team he never missed a start for. Jamal Charles ran very well. Cordero Patterson, he had more than one drop. Yeah, but look what he did. Come on. How do you regress 109 yards, two touchdowns? That guy is killing it this season. He's going to be all over the list. But look at this. Five, six and a half, seven, eight, nine sacks. Eli was sacked nine times. Our rookie, Dijon Hill, with a sack. Pat Pete with an interception, the only one of the day. And a forced fumble on recovery for Aaron Donald and Tony Jefferson. So... Good day for the defenses. But not a bad day for Cordero Patterson. Alright, so we're gonna power through this bye week. We get right through the bye week. We have a big injury decision. We're probably not gonna start the first one. Yeah, Sutherland doesn't have to start. Eli has played pretty well in his stead. They're just, they're just not giving him wins. He's playing very well, though. I'm not disappointed in the trade that we made to bring him here. The trade that we made to bring him here, as far as I'm concerned, was a bargain. If I had it all to do again, I would make the exact same trade. Eli has been amazing for us so far. And now, 1-6 against the 1-6 Raiders. This one is a battle for draft pick positioning, basically. They ain't making no playoffs. Not at 1-6. And, and we win it, of course. And now David Johnson wants to come back. I'm going to put Jamal Charles to stay. We'll see how that Raider game went in just as a moment. We will look at some more left ends. Wow. Almost there. I gotta do two more. Wow, two pluses. Those guys could be really good. Alright, let's take a look at that Raider game. We win it by 10. Our biggest win of the season. We only have two wins of the season, but still. One turnover. They had three turnovers. That is a big deal. And it was not Eli's fault. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Carr with two touchdowns, two interceptions. Apparently both of these guys played, but none of them completed a pass out of one. So, uh, oddly enough. Jamal Charles played very well. Three touchdowns. That is why we left it in there, he looked extremely well. Cordero Patterson again, 
just won't stop playing pretty well. Barrett and Trotter are the two guys I really want to play well, and I'm, I'm just not hearing a lot from them. One and a half for Golden and Medici. Bill Allen gets one. Right, and a half for Papete and Wolf. That is nice. Papete and Buchanan get picks. Nice game. Very nice game all around on our team. But you got Ward and Perry Riley with fumbles, and Mason Winters on forced fumble recovery. That's nice. So we actually get a very nice win. Now we are at the 49ers. See how we do with this. Moving on through. A new injury, which is Yupati for five weeks. So now I'm like Yupati is going to be replaced by his backup. Oy, oy, oy. Pain. The pain of the injuries. These guys are great. Wow, they may be a major oof. This guy looks really good to not be good. That makes any damn sense now. I don't think I'm going to go with the Atlanta Scouts. I think this guy is a good oof. I think this guy can be a biz. I think this guy can be a biz. This guy can be good. Nah, he's not. He could be. No, he's not. He could be. Do not like him. How about him? I don't think so. How about him? They don't like him. Should I look at the B minus? I'll go there. Fuck it. Nope, they don't work. Okay. So good there on the left end. We'll do right end next. Alright, let's see. Where did it look? Right? Oh no, the Niners. Okay, they beat us by two points again. That's three two point losses on the season. Ah. Uh, 49ers, we had three turnovers, they had two, and this was Matt Moore's fault. He played a lot. Eli Manning played eh, halfway decent. He was 10 of 15, he threw one pick, but Matt Moore comes in, throws for a lot of yardage with two interceptions, not going to help us. Drew Brees, two touchdowns, two picks. There's Charles and Hyde. Side by side with each other. Uh, but they had this Samuel Parson. Who's better than Cordero Patterson. And then Hogan. Who's better than um, Jamal Charles. Is, does very well in receiving for us. But man, Cordero Patterson is like consistently a 100 yard guy. Two picks for Captain Munnerlin. Oh, Bethel and Pat Pete again. Pat Pete doing pretty well this season. A bad year. Bethel again. Bethel. Bethel had a decent game. Alright, this will probably be the last sim of the episode. It is the Rams. Can we get a win against them? Is it at all possible? I think we might have. Returning from injury is David Johnson, so he will go back to his rightful spot. Hopefully he will start to play well, because he has not played well. Pretty much this entire series really has not been about him. Okay, and really it should be. Best player on the offense by far in real life. He just uh, has not shown it in this series. In this sim series. Okay, we'll do the tackle next. All right, let's see how the game went. Wow, a 19-point victory. Our biggest win of the three. No turnovers for either team. We just had a lot more yardage gained. And then we had 350. We got 400 now. Pretty even killed, but Eli. There he is. Four touchdowns, no interceptions. Goff is hurt. Mannion, two touchdowns, no interceptions. But Eli is playing. So well. Jamal Charles runs for 108 and a touchdown in his final game as a starter. Or Daryl finally doesn't get 100, but he does get his touchdown. 
so he was not very really upset about that. He's doing pretty well. Winters with a sack. Quinn and Donald as well. No interceptions for anyone. Fumbles. There was one forced by Dijon Hill. All right. So when we pick it up with the next episode, we will pick it up with this Vikings game. They are 7-3. and three. I do not plan on being able to beat them. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, please don't forget to drop a like down there. That's going to help new guys find our uh, stream and hang out with us, have a fun time. All right, and then um, I will see you guys on the next one. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get all of